there is something called as a pineal gland, various aspects of yoga or sadhana of yoga is to move it little down, south it's called, moving it south. This is the symbolism of Shiva turning south because his third eye moved south. What was up here came down between the two eyes. The moment it came here, he saw things that nobody had ever seen. Now, if this happens in a certain way, the secretions of the pineal, which in yoga is referred to as amrit or amrita or amritam, in probably in Sanskrit, this amritam <clears throat> either can be taken into the system to strengthen the system and increase or extend the longevity of the system, or this amrita can be taken to create blissfulness in the system, like a drug, it can just blow you away. Or you can use this amrita to enhance your perception that you can become like thin air because everything that is here passes through you. Right now, air passes only through your nostrils and you know if it doesn't pass, you are gone. If this air can pass through, right across you. Some of you might at some moment felt when you're very carefree and joyful, you stood in the breeze, it feels like breeze is passing through you. When you become hundred percent transparent, that is because you've used your amrita to bring sensitivity to the system. So these are three fundamental ways. One is to strengthen the body, to make it like a rock, which will give a certain longevity to that person, which is considered superhuman by most people, or to bring such a level of drunkenness and blissfulness within you that you don't care how long you live, or to make yourself like thin air, that your perception is super hy hyped because there is absolutely no resistance to the system. The same secretions of the pineal gland can be used in three different ways. This amrita or this secretion of the pineal gland will play the right kind of role in the system. When I say right, in my perception, only if it enhances your perception, it is right because if you do not enhance your perception, your life doesn't get enhanced in any way. It only gets enhanced in somebody else's eyes. If you become like a rock, your experience of life may not change. It is just other people think you're fantastic. Well, we could have made a statue out of you and you would have been a rock anyway. We didn't need a human being to become like a rock. If you have a rock for a brain, this will be the problem. You are always thinking, which is a bigger rock than you? Which is a smaller rock than you? Your entire life goes into this as to which is superior, which is inferior, which is better, which is worse. Endlessly you will be comparing yourself because this is the nature of a rock. This is the nature of physical reality. Once you identify yourself with physical reality, which is better, which is worse, is a natural process of thought. Only if you transcend that, can you be free from this as to which is better and which is worse. When one masters one's muladhara, which got referred to as kaya kalpa, you become like a rock, you want to make the body last for a millennia or more. When Swadhisthana sadhana is done, a burst of energy happens. One can deliver a god, but you may lose your body. If you bring any sound to Manipura, without opening your mouth, the very body reverberates the sound. When one is dominant in their anahata, they start hearing things. A reasonably stable person can go crazy. 
The moment Vishuddhi is active, you become occult competent. Disembodied beings will naturally move towards you. Agna means there is clarity. The level of freedom it gives you is tremendous. The Sahasrar is total madness. The moment energy stirs Sahasrar, you drip ecstasy. <laughs>